welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is z lawyer youtuber if you haven't subscribed to my channel now i promise you this is the video that will make you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss anything from me in the title you all know i am traveling to the uk now i mean <sighs> it's been a long time coming like it's going to be my first time in the uk <sighs> god i can't believe this is finally happening like literally it's been it's been a long time coming i've always wanted this for the longest time but it wasn't just happening but out of the blues out of the freaking blues out of the freaking blues out of the freaking blues <laughs> So I'm literally over the moon. I'm super, super, super doper happy that this is currently happening. Like, I can't even wait. Like, I'm going to take you guys all through the process. St I'm buying my stuff, selling properties, um, just random stuff, right? I mean, like, I'm just going to take you guys through the process. And I'm going to take you guys through the process of getting my visa, getting this and getting that and every other thing in between. I'm just going to take you guys through the process because, I mean, you guys are family. Do that. I'm literally, like, the very happy. I'm, like, literally happy. This just got delivered to me. Um, I'm so, 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 so happy. And I'm really grateful that this is happening. And it's going to serve as a rude shock to everybody. My father, my sister, my brother. Nobody knows I'm traveling i'm sponsoring this trip by myself i paid my fees myself i did every freaking thing by myself <laughs> i'm sure my father's going to watch this video and be like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> daddy calm down okay calm down <laughs> yeah i'm literally like really happy and super happy that it's happening now like this couldn't have come at a better time like have you guys seen the country where i live in have you guys seen the state of the country like even the state of the world in general but i mean things are not working here a lawyer here in nigeria is being paid twenty thousand naira, thirty thousand naira, and then you are being overworked nothing is really going on people are just traveling and stuff so i just thought about it i'm like should I go, 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 go abroad and then do, be doing healthcare services and all, all those kind of menial jobs that my mates are doing and like making a living out of it but I mean the country is getting tougher and tougher so I just decided to take this decision like price of food skyrocketing everything is going healthy scatter look about nigeria for a bit right so you understand the insecurity just recently you could see what happened with the kano kaduna train a lot of people were lost even a doctor who was in the process of processing her travel whatever and she was built to leave today today friday the first of april 2022 was when she was built to leave this country but then again she was caught up in the web of terrorism and she died like a lot of things the country is not working the other one brt boss every other thing is just going helter skelter there is no job there is no um, electricity fuel and core is being like a hell of a journey getting fuel these days it's the like I, I don't really know how people are surviving in this country but it is it has been a freaking hot mess so i mean how much is my job paying me that i would just want to stay here let me just go and just so i mean i just thought about it and i felt like the best thing would be for me to relocate like relocate and just live my life do the most i can and just relocate just do that right so that's what i'm currently doing and i pray that this works out this works out i'm literally like happy that this visa came and i'm really gonna go like i'm really gonna go like literally ha! so i'm going i'm going to the market gonna start buying a goosey or bono like everything like you guys who are abroad let me know what things i should pack and what i should not pack i've been watching a lot of youtube videos oh yeah i'm going to buy crayfish i'm going to buy um okoroko i'm just going to buy a lot of things i'm just going to buy a lot of things package it well and do stuff well April Fool! <laughs> it's first of april and i wanted to prank all of you my subscribers yes april Fool's day is the first of april and we're allowed to prank you guys i know i caught you guys there didn't i 
Mm, mm. Tell me in the comment section that you do not believe that I was traveling to the UK. Mm. I know some people who say I did not believe you. I prefer more. You believed me. You believed me. Oh yeah. So no people. I'm not leaving for now. <laughs> I'm not leaving for now. I'm still here. I I mean, um, if I'm going to leave, it's going to be um for my career progression and i don't feel like my career requires me to do a master's right now do not get me wrong i don't feel like doing a master in my own opinion and i've sought counsel from a lot of my senior colleagues both those who have done masters and those who haven't and i've come to a realization that for my profession you need more of experience than certificates to be able to thrive in this industry no one is going to ask you if you have an llm or if you or if you're a phd holder they just want to know your portfolio if you're able to win the case what you know how knowledgeable you are in that area in that field and in the field where i want to thrive um yeah in the field where i want to thrive you require more of experience than certificates the more reason why i haven't gone for my masters and i'm not certain when i will go for my masters so for now i'm still in core practice of law yes i'm a lawyer for those who do not know but yes nigeria is just it's been a terrible first quarter of the month for every month we had for every month we had something to talk about from the killings to um inmates being crowned kings and queens to the brt killings to just recently the um train attack by terrorists and bandits the hike in food prices the unavailability of well the hike in petrol prices the pr hike in basically everything like the um national grid going down everything is just freaking annoying in this country but then again you understand that with a lot of people leaving the country comes a lot of opportunities for people who are going to be here the truth about the matter is for lawyers for instance the clients are still going to be here the clients are still going to be litigation they're still going to be companies in nigeria especially for current especially foreign companies who will be in their need of litigation lawyers or corporate lawyers to be able to do their work shell is not going to leave here or shell is about leaving but you have total you have all these oil companies you have mex you have a lot you have a lot of companies who are still going to be in nigeria so even with the few who are going to remain here they are going to be the ones who are going to partake in the greater glory per se i don't feel like nigeria is going to go anywhere i feel like things are going to get better but that depends on what we do next year that's why we need to get our pvcs and votes that's why we need to do certain things it's time for us to take up the mantle of leadership i feel like a lot of women need to also come out and also gear for all this post and also vie for political posts do not wait to be a political appointee do not wait to be given power you can earn it you can fight for it you can contest for those seats those seats are meant for each and every one of us so i feel like with a lot of people leaving because the number of people who have left nigeria since last year to this year is enough to render this country citizenship less something like that so but like i said this is just to encourage those who are still here if you're still here don't feel like oh um the train has left you and you're still here you can still make the most of things here it's not all rosy abroad though it's not all rosy abroad do not let the snows and the beautiful weather and every other thing the only difference between these countries and us is that that for the most part they have a working system in terms of healthcare, education governance and just to say the least right but i feel like every other thing is achievable here i mean it's a lot easier to do things here in nigeria it's a lot easier to acquire properties here in nigeria it's a lot easier to do and just live life here in nigeria than elsewhere right so yeah i'm still here it was just a prank and i hope you guys enjoyed it please do not give me away in the comment section just act as if i am telling the truth please do not give me away and say it's a prank or april fool no just stick to the plan guys stick to the plan so every other person gets a piece of the iceberg okay so i come your way next time remember to subscribe share like and i love you